Hello everyone, my name is June and I am the dog groomer and today we're going to show how to do a schnauzer cut. Um, we had a request, a couple, few requests actually for uh, how to do a schnauzer cut. Um, we don't have a schnauzer but I do have my dog Weemi here who is a very good sport and a very willing participant. Um, but we're going to show how to do a schnauzer pattern on a shizu mix. <laughs> and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out really but um, he does have hair long enough, what we're going to do is just comb the hair forward here to train his hair to go forward so we can kind of shape the schnauzer eyebrows and then because we're going to be shaving the ears and the face here close and also the body, I'm going to spend a little time carding, uh, meaning removing the dead hair and the cellular debris and just, you'll see powder, you'll see all kinds of stuff coming out of the coat, I mean coming out of the skin and what we're doing is we're just kind of clearing out those pores before we shave or and actually we're going to shave before we go in the bathtub um, because anytime we do any close shaving on our bodies even it's itchy and it causes a little bit of irritation on the skin and we take a shower and, and it cools it right off um, sometimes <laughs> uh, with dogs same same idea anytime we're doing any close shaving it is going to cause them to itch a little bit so we want to do the shaving before the bath, that way there, any itchiness or any irritation will hopefully be taken care of and cooled down with the bath. Okay, right now we're getting uh, this area combed out here, and you see there, there's some eye boogers, and a lot of dead hair there coming out of the face, and what we're doing is getting this cleared out, and a lot of, I know a lot of people like to shave right here, get some clippers and just shave right there, what you're doing is all of this hair that is actually dead and collecting bacteria and moisture, when we shave all of that off, then the, it's all just kind of stuck in there inside the skin. And so, and actually it's poor form too. It's uh, kind of the easy way, at, you know, to trim it. So really what we want to do is just comb a lot of this out. And once it's combed out, you can even use a face comb which would be even better, something like that. Or, you know, they call it a flea comb. There we go. So when we clear a lot of that out, already it's starting to look better and smell better. And then a lot of this hair here, if we do want to trim it, we can go ahead and trim it with uh, thinning shears or scissors and just snip that. And just do an example real quick. So that's that side cleaned up. And this is this side, uh, all messy and there we go. So we're going to do the same thing to this side. So when you get this out before the bath, what it's going to do is not only help you get a cleaner bath and better results because you got all this uh, nasty, smelly, it's like gym socks pretty much. And so you're never really going to get that smell or that color out of that hair. So better just to get that nasty hair out of there, especially because it is damp and it does carry odor. Might as well just get that out before the bath. That way it's not affecting the rest of the hair and you get a cleaner, better smelling result. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sh shave that schnauzer pattern. So the schnauzer has eyebrows here, but then from here back, we're gonna go ahead and shave. So here we go. <laughs> There's a little bit of a hesitation because we've always kept him long. This is the first time ever shaving his head, so you know, whatever. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it, right? Don't do it unless you're gonna do it. Then just do it, you know? <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, we're gonna see how he looks in a schnauzer cut. And here's the thing <clears throat> it's not like, um, it's not as serious as like surgery, I guess. You know, as long as you. Basically, as long as we cleared all this out and there's not all this dead clumpiness here that we're just shaving over, then we're shaving over clear pores, you know. So this, what, what I'm saying is that the pattern itself, just because we're putting a schnauzer pattern on a shizu, which is, you know, technically wrong, it's not like, you know, doing the wrong procedure in surgery on a person, you know. House busted and like, stop everything! <laughs> you know, it's not like that, so it'll grow back. How are you shaving the ear? Oh yeah, um, how I'm shaving the ears. I'm, I'm going with the grain. Always go with the grain. 
pointing out to the with the leather because if I ever go this way in it's actually gonna because the hair is growing this way it's gonna pull the clippers in and actually clip the side of the earring make it bleed so you always want to go with the grain towards the out towards the edge of the ear so from the inside out to the edge and that way we make sure we're not gonna actually clip his ear and hurt him we do the inside the same way always go outside there we go and I prefer a 10 blade or a 7 I don't really like to go closer than a 10 some people do it with a 30 or a 40 and that's like 40 blade is would be a surgical size and uh, for me it's just a little too close okay what I'm looking for is this little mustache right here <clears throat> or not a mustache that little whisker there's gonna be a little whisker like there's the edge of his mouth right here Where can we... right and then you're always gonna find a little whisker right back here and you can always kinda of feel it it's gonna be a little bump in the skin so there's his little whisker here and that will be my mark that will be where I'm gonna shave up to here so <clears throat> that's just a little way to easy way to find where to shave okay there we go kinda works out because he's black and white kinda looks like a schnauzer go back the other way how far down do you have? Well, the neck, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. So we shaved here. And actually, you can shave here as well to the ear. There we go. So we got this shaved. Got this shaved. So again, we're going to look for that little whisker. There it is right there, so that's our point, we can know where we stop. Oh no, shade too much, it's okay. There we go, so now we already kind of have like a schnauzer pattern going there, you can see. bring out that head a little more. I'm actually gonna go through with the seven to do this schnauzer pattern. I just wanted, I like to do the head and the ears with the 10 because it makes, gives it a cleaner look. And then blend it into a seven body. So there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, Weeby. It's okay, it'll grow back out, Weeby. So, Again, if we do damage the hair, hair strands, then it's better to do it before the bath because the shampoo is actually going to strengthen and repair those hairs that we've damaged during the prep. You don't like his haircut? You don't like it? Like it? Like it? Oh man. Well, it'll grow back. It'll, it's gonna grow back, buddy. It's gonna, it's gonna grow back. Man. <laughs> well, maybe he'll like it after it's done. <laughs> maybe after it's all done, you'll like it, buddy. Hey. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. While I was drying, I was blowing all of this hair forward. So I was coming from this angle, blowing this hair forward, blowing all of this forward. So even when I combed it after the drying, I'm combing all of this forward. I was just using it to dry, keep them on the table. Okay. So when I was drying him, I was uh, combing everything for I mean blowing everything forward, and now I comb everything forward as it dries to train this hair now to 
you know, stick out, you know, lay like a schnauzer's head would. So, schnauzer pattern. Um, you know, let's just start here. One long stroke? Yeah, they say one long stroke, but you know, I like to. Because what I'm going to be doing is making this right here. And you want to skim, you want to blend it into a nice chest here. There we go. And then kind of skim. And we want to show off a nice strong shoulder. Oh. You want to make sure they're turning this way because when he turns this way into it, it causes a crease and so you'll get an uneven cut. So you want to hold his head the other way. Man, the lighting sucks. We're going to give him a nice strong chest and shoulder here. And you come down and you want to skim off right there like that. That way when you look, he'll have a nice chest coming out and we'll kind of scissor that down. And then a nice shoulder laying down here and then we're gonna keep the legs nice and fluffy. Like a show, like a show schnauzer or something. There we go. And that way we also keep it nice and blended as well. Let the clippers do most of the work. So here I'm pressing down, you know, not pressing down, but I'm letting the <clears throat> blade touch the skin here. But as I go down, I'm skimming. So kind of laying off a little bit. And here we're going to give him a nice tight thigh muscle, like a schnauzer. So basically a good point to skim off is right where you see the band here or, or just imagine this thigh muscle here right there so that's what you're trying to highlight so we're gonna go skim off right there there we go Alright, now let's do the other side. You should talk about the angles. Okay, oh yeah. What I'm doing is I'm shaving in uh, angles here. So this angle is 45 degrees this way. So we're going to do the 45 degrees this way. So kind of coming down at a diagonal slope like that. And then on the chest and shoulders, we're going to start to change and it's going to be this way, 40, like a diagonal. 45 degree that way. So when we do it on both sides, we get a nice even angulation. Angulation just meaning highlighting the natural angles of the dog. There we go. Mm. Okay, on the skirt here, what we're doing is we're skimming off right there. So at the widest point of the ribs here, we're just going to kind of skim off like that. And that's going to give you a nice blended skirt. And then same thing on this leg here. <clears throat> what we're doing is we're trying to highlight this uh, thigh muscle right here. So we're going to go in here.
个。哈哈，好，微微。Okay, first, first we're gonna do the ears, and this is called edging the ears.、Um, basically, getting it look like it's shaved right at the to the leather, getting that clean look. What I like to do is make sure I have my thumb at the end of the ear leather so that. No matter what, I can't go past my thumb and finger here, and I can't cut their skin. So I use that kind of as a guard, and again, always point to the from the base to the edge of the to the point of the ear. There it is. All right. Now we'll do the front, and what I like to do is use my two fingers like that to just grip the hairs and pull them out, so I can get the true length here. Alrighty, now the other side. There we go. Now, do the Schnauzer eyebrows. What we're gonna do is first. Okay, from here to here. So Schnauzer eyebrows are supposed to be like that, from the outside of this nose here to the edge of that ear, like that.、Uh, if you're doing Scotty eyebrows, then it's like that. It's a little bit closer. So from here to there, a little bit closer on Scotty. So since we're doing the Schnauzer today. Go in. If you like, you could just do like this first before you actually make that snip. Okay.、And、clean this up.、And、then what you want to do here is go back in this way. Make sure you don't get this part. Just get the top. There we go. All right. So there's one eyebrow. Let's do the other one. So I'm combing it all straight out to the side here. This is after I've all brushed forward like crazy <laughs> during the prep, during the bath. I was washing and rinsing this way. You know, when I was blow drying, drying this way. So. Now I go in straight out to the side, and then, boom! Make that snip right here from this, from the tip of that nose, I mean corner of the nose here to the ear leather. Like a square almost, you know, that flat side. There we go. So you don't want to take any length off, but just off the sides. And that way, then we can go in with the thinners. I was gonna try to shape this with the thinners, but man, that was gonna take too long. So there we go. Okay. All right, old man. Oh my goodness, what a cutie! I mean, look at this. Oh my goodness, we. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, baby. Let's do this. Let's finish it.
Hey, we've already <laughs> we've already set the pattern, man. We gotta do this. All right. He's so cute. He look happy. Oh, he looks so happy. <laughs> his, look at his tail. He's like, man, what is this? Even Dexter's like, what? Yeah, Dexter's like, what the world are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. But hey, there we go. I mean, that's like a schnauzer pattern right there. I mean, as long as all this is... Okay. There we go. Scissor in. And really what you're doing is just, you know, kind of smoothing out all the little tips. All these little edges here. Wait me. Scissor the back here. So we're gonna set in the angulation again here. So we scissor 45 degree angle that way, 45 degree angles this way. Okay. The legs, we want to make sure they are kind of parallel, like columns. Uh, okay, Weemy. Weemy the Schnauzer. Wow, you look so different, buddy. Okay, let me, let me hold him up so everybody can see. So this is a... Uh, this is uh, my dog Weemi, the Shizu mix, in a schnauzer trim. Okay, let's show everybody. So we have the schnauzer eyebrows that we set. Remember, the line goes from the corner of the ear here to the corner outside corner of the nose here, right? And schnauzers, you know, typically you could do a longer, whatever. And then the schnauzer muzzle, you want to make sure it's kind of flat on each side and looks good like that. The edge, the ears, and then we go down into the smooth neck, into the blend off into the chest, and then blend here into the sh shoulders, and then right here we're gonna blend it into the skirt, blend out I mean, and then blend out here along the thigh muscle, and then since he has a long tail I just kind of went ahead and do it, did a um, 3 8 of comb guard and did a short tail. And then we just go ahead and scissor in the angles here. So we highlight this nice short thigh there. And also it's a good it's a good trim for practical purposes. Just kind of keeps everything nice and neat and clean right there as well. So we have uh, nice clean uh, thighs right there. And there we go. There's a schnauzer. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, if there's any other requests for um, other different patterns or uh, different things you may be encountering at home, please let us know. We're happy to help. Um, and my wife and I are just overwhelmed with the response that we've been getting and we just appreciate all of the support and the encouragement. Namaste. Right? Hey Annabelle. What's that? This is Weemi. <laughs> What's Weemi? that? See Weemi, <laughs> look at her face. <laughs> this is Weemi. Do you like it? We look, Weemi's a schnauzer. Look, he has a good haircut. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's a schnauzer. <laughs> look, Ava. Come here. Come here. Come here, Weemi. Come here, Weemi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> That's a good boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay.